Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are a current subscriber, welcome back. If you are not a current subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to be a part of my community over here. We do all things Disney, all things life. I just love to show you how you can add any magic into your everyday life. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us over here in my YouTube world. So as you can see in the title down below, we are going to be talking all things Stony Clover today. I am fairly new to Stony Clover. I would still say that I am new to Stony Clover because I didn't know about Stony Clover in the beginning. I picked up on Stony Clover when it blew up on social. So it really got picked up by the Disney community on Instagram and so that is when I learned about it and it jumped right in head first. I am officially in love with all things Stony Clover. They originally started as like a bracelet business and then Kendall and Libby have the owners have just grown it more and more each year. They've had insane collaborations. They've collaborated with Disney, the Lucasfilms, um, American Girl, Hello Kitty, Barbie, all the things and there are so many more coming this year that they've like hinted at. Um, I did want to read what like their About Us is if you haven't heard of Stony Clover. So again, founded by sisters, Kendall and Libby, uh, Stony Clover Lane re uh, reimagines organization through a line of travel accessories designed to spark self-expression. As frequent flyers that love to keep things lighthearted and labeled, Kendall and Libby expanded the brand to include vibrant lifestyle and travel accessories to help customers stay organized on the go. That is pretty much exactly what Stony Clover, Clover Lane is. They have backpacks, small pouches, mini pouches, uh, purses, wallets, large pouches, uh, fanny packs, so, so many awesome items that then you can customize to however you want. I also missed one of their huge biggest collaborations ever was with Target that was released earlier this year which was absolutely insane. So I'm just going to jump in and show you the Sony Clover items I have in my collection um, and we can talk about them as we go. So I am going to start with my fanny packs. I feel like the fanny pack is really what like took Stony Clover over the edge for me personally. When I saw them over on Instagram for the first time. So before Sony Clover had their collaboration with Disney officially, they had Disney patches at Fable, which was located at the Four Seasons. This was the only place you could get a Mickey and Minnie patch. Um, they had like little bows as well all different sizes of patches but these that was the only location you could get a mickey and mini patch for your bag they went fast they were so so popular everybody loved them and that's like what really took stony clover off i feel like on social is because once people saw these bags they absolutely loved them and needed them and they just became super super popular so during our 2020 trip i believe that is correct i think it was in 2020 we did go to fable and to the four seasons unfortunately they had a lot of patches that were sold out and they never restocked them because they were working on a collaboration directly with disney for their website for the parks different things like that however i was able to scoop up a couple of patches that now i've finally been able to patch on bags i was just waiting and hoping that i could get the matching mickey and mini patches i think i got the small mini and large mickey and mini Yes, that is correct. And so I was just waiting for the right moment to patch them on like a certain bag. And I'm so glad that I waited. So my first item that I'm going to show you is my white fanny pack. So this was like an OG style that I always knew that I wanted and definitely waited for for a very long time. I would say like a year or so of having the patches because I didn't have, I think it was the 
small Mickey I had to buy in the collection because I had the mini but they are so cute and I absolutely love just the classic style of this fanny pack the only thing so before I don't know what I don't know my years and exact time frames on this but they have two sizes they had one size of fanny pack this is the original size fanny pack so it fits me really well and it goes cross body up top or I can fit it around my waist however they have the newer style it's the same style it is just has a longer strap so they used to sell fanny pack extenders but now that extender is just included in the fanny pack so as much as i love this one i wish it was like just a teeny wince longer for when i do wear it crossbody but it is a classic my first ever stony clover fanny pack and I absolutely love it. The next fanny pack I actually just got packed. So like I mentioned, you can do a customization on the website. However, there were certain times when it's not best to do the customization on the website because the items go so fast, like so fast. You gotta be ready, ready to go at all of your items in the cart and you can't even customize it sometimes because you will miss out and they'll be sold out by the time you get to your cart. So I got this item customized by a local person who sews for me. If you are local to Omaha, Nebraska, shoot me a DM if you need somebody to sew on your patches because she does a fabulous job. So I got the Ruby Fanny Pack and I have magic on it in the white glitter varsity letters and these are the smaller letters my friend ashton she actually came up with this idea and i stole it from her so ashton if you're watching this video thank you again for the cutest idea ever i was really hesitant on if i wanted to put a mickey and mini patch on this ruby or if i wanted to do the magic I talked to her about it again she's like you absolutely need to do the magic my other friend Lexi told me I needed to do the magic I posted on Instagram everybody said to do the magic so I did the magic and I am so happy it is adorable and I'm very excited to wear this on our next Disney vacation okay the next two fanny packs are from the Disney collection so they had a Disney princess collection and then they had a Mickey and friends collection I purchased the Cinderella fanny pack from the Disney princess collection and I am obsessed with it I was thinking about patching it but I'm going to leave it blank now just because I love the print the fanny packs are really really big and fit so much I can fit my phone my wallet um, my lip gloss whatever you need to fit in here it fits really really easily and it's very accessible as well to having it across your body it's easy to grab and go in the parks at Target your every day I am pro fanny pack when the Mickey and friends collection came out I purchased a very large purchase um, for one item that was like my holy grail in that moment and I'm very glad that I did that uh, the thing with Stony Clover is sometimes you don't know what you want until you see it in person until you see it on other people uh, the prints you can see the prints online obviously during the release but they're just so better in person <clears throat> they're just so better in person that pause Okay. The print for the third time, the prints are so better in person that when you see it, you're like, okay, I need this in a fanny pack, I need this in a backpack, I need this in a small pouch, I just need it in all things. So that's how I was with this next fanny pack. This was the Sensational Six print. So it has all of the characters on it. I didn't purchase this originally. So I didn't purchase this fanny pack originally because like I said, I purchased another item instead. I purchased another item instead um, and I just couldn't 
like feasible purchase another Fami pack because I'm like, oh, I don't need it. I already have two or I had three at this point. I didn't need another one. I needed this. Oh my goodness. I saw this. I saw this on people in the parks and just on Instagram and I knew it needed to be in my life. Holy moly. But here is the thing. It was sold out online and they don't restock these big collections most of the time. So I called all of the places. Uh, they do have stores um, like brick and mortar stores in East and West Coast uh, locations and New Orleans. Do they have one in Dallas? They do not have one in Dallas. They have two in New York. I think one or two in Florida. I think they have one in Florida, New Orleans, and then Newport Beach. I think that's all. I think that's all. Oh, we're in Nashville. Yes, obviously, Nashville. That's their newest one. And so my friend was going to Nashville for the Star Wars collection. She's like, just calm and see if they have it again. They freaking had it in the store. So you can order items from the stores directly. I ordered this online. Ashton picked it up and shipped it over to me. I am so happy that I finally found this. You guys have no idea how much I wanted this and I was having major FOMO of not having this in my life and now I do and I am so excited. I think I'm going to leave this one blank um, as well as my Cinderella one. However, we are going to the Newport Beach store in August, which I am so excited about. I've never actually like been in a Stony Clover store. So I'm just gonna be saving all of my pennies for the next three months because it's gonna, it's going to be a great time in there. So I want to see what the patches will look like on the fanny pack before I commit to it, but I am so excited. I'm just gonna show you the minis. So like I said, they have three sizes of pouches. Pouches and patches, those are like hard words to keep in line. Um, this is the large, this is the small, and then this is the mini. So think of it as like two minis equal a small, two smalls can fit into a large. So they all play off each other and work really, really well. So I did get the Sensational Six in the mini. So the mini is like what it's called it is a very mini pouch however it does fit a good amount so i throw my magic bands in here i throw some hand sanitizer uh just some like kleenexes feminine products whatever you need can go into this mini and then you can just throw it in your purse and it is so convenient um i have this mini and then the first mini that i ever purchased was this periwinkle mini and i actually just got the cinderella slipper patch patched on it and it just fits perfectly i wasn't sure where i wanted to put the cinderella patch and i'm so glad i chose this mini i do have a mickey periwinkle patch that i'm waiting for the periwinkle fanny pack to come back in stock or hoping that they have it at the newport beach store in august because that is just going to be so cute i just have it in my mind and i need to do that but they are sold out online currently so Fingers crossed for all of us. So for my small pouches, I have four. I have three Sony Clover ones and then three, tar uh, three, one from the Target Sony Clover collection, which those are just like a little bit bigger because all of the Target collection items were made through Target, just influenced by Sony Clover. So they just feel and look a little bit different than the regular items. But for my small um, pouches, I got the Cinderella one with the Cinderella carriage patched on it. So this one was customized through Sony Clover on their website. It's super easy to do. It's $15 customization fee, but that's just per item, I believe. And it's not per patch. So honestly, if you have a lot of patches on an item, it's probably better to just do it through Sony Clover. Um, the gal I do it through, she charges per patch. And so if you have a lot of patches that can add up and be way more than $15. So just keep in mind one, the stock of the item and two, how many patches you want to get on your item because sometimes locally they charge more than Sony Clover would. 
The next small pouch that I got was from the American Girl doll collection. So I love American Girl dolls. I grew up with American Girl dolls. Kit was my OG favorite. If you are an American Girl doll lover, let me know in the comments down below which your favorite was. However, my first American Girl doll ever was Molly. She will always hold a special place in my heart because that was the first American Girl doll that I received from my parents. And so I got the Molly Small pouch and it has her patch right in the bottom corner. And this is Molly's print. Currently I have items in there for traveling. And I it's really nice because I just use this one when I go on vacation. And so it just lives in my travel pouch and I don't have to like take items in and out um, in between my trips. For that one, they sold out on that website so stinking fast. Oh my gosh. And so I posted on Instagram that I was hoping that they were going to restock. They responded to me really quickly and said they were still in stock on the American Girl doll website. And so I actually posted that directly or purchased that from American Girl Doll directly and I was really happy because it came pre-patched. Um, you obviously are gonna pay a little bit more because you're getting the patch in the pouch, um, but I wanted that style and so I was very happy that they had that available there. The next small patch, small pouch, small pouch that I got was the um, dynamic duo print from the Mickey and Friends collection and it, I added this patch right down here in the bottom left hand corner. I am obsessed with this. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them. I really do love the Molly one but this is just like screams Mickey. Um, I just put this on on the sticky side so that's actually not sewn on. All of the patches can just be stuck on and so this has stayed on i haven't had any issues but i absolutely love this one i actually uh i'm saying actually like a bajillion times i'm getting ready to pack for our next disney world vacation and so i'm getting my park bag ready to do like a park bag video as well so i already have items in here ready to go into my park bag I have my magic bands, um, some koozies from Impossible Dreams, and then my Clorox wipes because germs. The last small pouch that I wanted to show you was the one I got from Target. So this one is, again, from the Target collection. So oh, that is from Target because it has a little Target logo and then has Stony Clover on the back. Uh, right now I'm using this as my makeup bag. So all of my makeup is living in here. I added this end patch also from the Target collection just in the bottom corner and it is just stuck on. They stay on really, really well. So if you're ever unsure about how you want to patch an item, you can always just stick it on with the sticky tape on the back of the patch and you can put it on there, live with it for a little bit. It does have a little bit of residue um, if you pull it off. So just know that you might have to work at it a little bit. Uh, but overall, they stay on super, super good. I don't think I'll ever get this one sewn on because it stays on pretty well. But this is where all of my makeup lives currently. I had been taking it in and out. And we were just like moving around a lot the past couple of weeks, months. And so I'm just like leaving in here. And at this point, it's just easier to like grab it and go. Since we're on pouches, I'm going to show you the large pouch now. Uh, this is one item that if you were going to ask me, Nikki, what is one Sony Clover item? If I was going to get one Sony Clover item, which item should I get? You should get the large pouch because it is so, so versatile. I use these so, so much. Um, I put them in my park bag when I take my big backpack. I will put my ears in here. I will put clothes in here. I can even put like extra shoes in here. These, number one, if you're going to get one item from Stony Clover, get the large pouch or get a fanny pack. I do have a pair of ears right here just because I wanted to show you that they do fit in the large pouches very, very easily. These ears are from BB Brook. Uh, so just know that if you like this style, but they fit in here 
like I can probably fit six ears depending on the style of ear but I would definitely encourage you to get a large pouch if you wanted just like one item to start with just know once you start you ain't ever gonna go back my first ever Sony Clover purchase was my purple large pouch and I put my initials in the bottom corner and I just love this so much you guys how many times can I say so in this video a lot but this really is one of my favorites because it was my first Sony Clover purchase I did a lot of research on Sony Clover I have like all of my random travel items in here and I love love these pouches so much it's easy they're very lightweight so it's not going to add a lot of extra room or weight to your suitcase besides the items that are in it and I really love how the small pouches can fit in the large ones so you can fit two in the bottom so these two small pouches are full with items so they fit right there but then look at all this other space I have up here up top. So I could throw in a, I could throw in two minis on top if I wanted or I could throw another small up top. It would be like a little bit of a tight squeeze to get it in there but that would be, look at that, easy to zipper up. You can fit three smalls into a large i know what you're asking yourself or telling yourself why would you want to get a large when you could just get three smalls and then it would all fit in the same thing trust me this sucker holds so much that it would everything was just all over the place and i loved having my one small in here and then being able to put bigger items around it so you want your large pouch if you're gonna put small like makeup travel items to be organized i know i'm gonna post more about it in my next packing video you'll love a good packing video i'll link my last two packing videos down in the description below but i'm next time for this next trip, I'm gonna go into like more detail. And so I will definitely show you how I pack my pouches and all the things. So let's look at this pouch um, individually. So this one is the Tiana print from the Princess Collection that they did with Disney. I love her so much and I love this print. I am going to get this one customized. I wasn't sure I was going to get it customized, but this one's going to slowly be for my ears for when I travel and go to the parks. So I am going to get glitter varsity letters, probably in green, um, and say ears across this. And then I think I'm gonna put the little frog in the bottom corner if they all fit, like I like it. So absolutely love Tiana. Uh, Princess and the Frog, love that movie. But this was the second large pouch that I purchased. I didn't know if I slowly wanted it for my ears, so I didn't get it customized right away. But it is now determined because I recently purchased this large pouch in the print Mickey and Friends from the Mickey and Friends collection. So with this pouch, I actually purchased this in the parks. They do offer some items in the parks that you can purchase they had the princess print that had all the princesses that one was in the parks and then this design was in the parks as well what's nice about that is that you can get your ap discount your dvc discount on these items which you're not going to get online so i knew i wanted a large pouch another one and i waited until we went to the parks in march all of those vlogs are also posted i'll leave that playlist down below but here are here is the large mickey and friends print i'm not like in love with this print i definitely like the dynamic duo duo and the sensational six print 
better than this one but it's definitely a lot cuter in person than what it looked like online so the two bags that i got the two other bags that i got from the target collection i did get some shoes sunglasses um a pair of shorts a swimsuit from their target collection as well but for like the pouches i got the circular one it has the gingham print in the back and then I just added this N pouch which was really cute. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. It, I think it was like $12 which for Sony Clover is dirt cheap. Um, but my big item that I wanted for the Sony Clover in Target collection was this beach tote. It already has my stuff filled in there for um going to the pool but i absolutely love this bag it's so cute it's massive and it fits all of the things that we need i also just remembered that i purchased these this other large pouch with the target collection and it already was patched so it has swim across it and it's like a terry cloth so i just throw my swimsuits in here before we go to swim and then it has like a waterproof lining inside so if i wanted i could throw like them semi wet back in here to dry when we get home but this is so cute and i love 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 how you can see it. it's like through the back like how stinking cute is that adorable i know so something that's kind of strange about me is i love sleeping in the pitch dark like pitch black no tv on no lights completely dark complete darkness complete darkness i never was like that until i got married pretty much i think it's because of my husband because he likes to sleep in the dark and now i'm just like accustomed to it and you can't get that in hotel rooms so i did get a sony clover sleep mask i saw this in the dynamic duo print and absolutely loved it i did use it on our last vacation and i feel like it was helpful there were some nights i normally don't wear a sleep mask so it's kind of weird at first and then there were some nights that i woke up and i must have like taken it off in the night but i really actually um adore this it is really nice um for those vacations where it's not going to be pitch, pitch black in your room and as it, while i'm talking about this randomly if you have really good like blackout curtains please drop that in the comment down below because the blackout curtains that we've purchased from target are not blackout like it lit it still lets that light come in and we currently just have a blanket over our curtains because now they're blacked out <laughs> i know yep it doesn't look great but i don't care so something that became really popular with the princess collection were the packing cubes uh if you have seen my packing videos you know how much i love packing cubes like game changer for packing for vacations and so i purchased the princess packing cubes they did have the mickey and friends packing cubes as well but i went with the princess ones because i purchased these before the mickey and friends collection however i am happy that i went with the princess ones because i really do enjoy them and you get one with every print so this cute little bag comes with the bell print and all of the prints did come in fanny packs and backpacks and all of pouches as well. And then we have Snow White. And then inside of Snow White we have another small one. And that was Aurora. So you have the pink. And then Jasmine was like the medium and then the large or probably like medium and a half <laughs> was ariel and then the large were cinderella and then the biggest one was tiana so in total you received one two as i put these back three four five six seven 
items in your packing cube and they are very good quality that's something that I've gotten questions about they are good quality I highly recommend them uh, if you're never used packing cubes before and you're not sure I would just recommend getting some on Amazon. That's when I started. So I didn't know if I would like packing cubes. I didn't want to invest in packing cubes if I knew I wasn't going to use them. So I just bought a set off of Amazon. They died probably after a year or so because I just used them so much. But if you're not sure, get some off of Amazon. Once you know that you absolutely love them, you can always buy some at Target or if you really want them to be cute and fun and Stony Clover, um prints they have those available as well for my last item this was my absolute must-have item for my last item this was my must-have item from the mickey and friends collection i'm pretty sure that's what it was called i'm pretty sure i saw this and i knew like yep this is the one item i'm going to get and that was the one item i got in that moment and then I needed the fanny pack. But I used my Fable patches on this backpack. So it did make it a little bit cheaper for me. And then I just got them patched locally. But here is my Dynamic Duo backpack. This is the classic backpack. So they have two sizes. They have the classic and then they have the mini. The mini is designed more towards kids. However, adults do wear it. Um, just know that the straps aren't going to be very long. It's going to be tight. Um, not tight, but it's not. It's going to be form fitting like around your arm. It's not going to be loose. And the classic, I knew I was going to love. And so I definitely am glad I went with the classic. I actually have a mini on my wish list um, for my dog. Yes, I want to get a classic a mini backpack that says dog mom on it. So then when Casey like travels with us or if she has to go stay somewhere, I can put herself into that backpack. Yep, and now that I'm thinking about it, I have another Sony Clover item that I need to go grab, but I'll show you my backpack first to stay on topic. Okay, so I have the large Mickey and Minnie pouches up top, and then I have my initials down on the bottom. There are no pockets on the sides, which I really wish there were. The mini backpack does have pockets on the side, so that's really convenient. The classic does not. And then on the inside, it's just completely open. So there's no pockets or anything. I wish there was a laptop sleeve just because when I do travel with this, I wish there was a place that I could easily put my laptop and keep it like secure in that one spot. However, in this big classic backpack, you can fit a large pouch. You could probably fit two if you really wanted. And then, so, yeah, you could easily fit two large pouches in there. So this classic backpack is really, really big. It is an investment. It's 100% worth it, in my opinion. I am absolutely in love with it. I love the big pocket in the front. Um, when we traveled, I just threw, like, my AirPods, my phone, all the things in here. I actually had, of course... I had my mini in the front pocket and I could keep things organized in there. So absolutely love the classic backpack. I'm definitely going to purchase a mini at some point, maybe at Newport. I'm not 100% sure yet, like what color and style that I want, but I love my classic backpack. And when I just look at it, it just makes me smile. I love it so much. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go grab my other Sony Clover item that I just remembered that I had. Okay, I'm back. So the last item that I totally forgot about until we started talking about it, and she's gonna probably walk over here because she knows this is hers. But this is a travel pouch, so it's completely clear. I got the white one with Pluto on the front, and we keep Casey's medicines in here and her pills 
for when we go to different places and I honestly have just kept it like on our counter because it's really cute um she knows I'm talking about her now so she's gonna be over here and her tail is wagging but this is where we keep all of her stuff when we like go to my parents for the weekend or if she goes and stays with my in-laws for when we go on vacation but this is the travel pouch and I really do love it. It's very popular and it's good for your liquids when you travel. So this is also another option that they provide on their website. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's Stony Clover collection video. I feel like I mentioned this at the beginning, but my collection is growing slowly, I wouldn't say slowly. It's probably growing at a rapid pace at this point. Some people have massive collections. There are so many Facebook groups and the stuff that these people have, I'm like, oh my goodness. And they've been purchasing it for years and years and years because Stony Clover has been around for a fairly amount, good amount of time. Again, like I said, I am a late I'm a late bloomer in the Stony Clover world. Make sure you comment down below if you have Stony Clover, if you've never heard of Stony Clover. If you have a Stony Clover tote and or duffel, please let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. I think the duffel might be like my next big, big purchase. They are so cute and I feel like I would get a lot of use out of it. But let me know what you think. If you like your duffel, if you feel like it's useful, good size, let me know because that's on my radar. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I am so excited to show you guys my collection. I've been waiting to do this video for like the perfect time and I'm finally doing it because I love Stony Clover and I want you to love Stony Clover as well because they're just a great organization and company to be a part of and to invest in because Kendall and Libby are two awesome boss women who rule the world or who will rule the world because they just do wonderful things for different um, causes and they're very inclusive so make sure that you check them out I will leave as much as I can linked down below in the description some of these items will be sold out but again you can always call the stores and they will ship them to you but yes alrighty I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you real soon bye look at this this is what I'm dealing with right now See you soon.